Hi lovelies, it's Jessica with Trintita and we did recently a ballet bun, a big one, like a flower bun and we get so many requests to show you a tutorial that we're going to film this now. Thank you for watching. So for this big bun we decided to add a little accent braid so I'm going to do a five strand braid on the top of the hat. Therefore I section off a strand of hair in the front and I'm splitting it into three equal strands. Now bring the left over the middle and the right over the middle. And now you go to the left and you will take your fourth strand, bring it under and over the neighbor strand. And then go to the right, take the fifth strand and bring it under and over. We did already a video for the five strand braid technique before, so I'm going to link that one in the description box if you would like to see more explanation for this braid technique. You just keep on braiding now, always separating with your fingers, good the strand, and I'm adding in the hair here with the comb as Transita had fresh washed hair until I reach the eyebrow and there I'm taking the last time hair in, so add a strand, separate always good, I do it here with the end of the comb, then bring it under and over, hold the strands again, good separated, and now you see here I show you over the eyebrow is where I take the hair diagonal to the middle of the head from the back, I separate before I bring the two strands together and like this because we add in all the crown hair we did not have to do any work of parting at the beginning and it will be quite quick if you manage to do five strand braid. I did two more stitches and then you're going to tie off this braid with a little elastic. Bring in the elastic and then tighten the braid a bit before you're going to pancake. If you like the braid already like it is and you like it neater, you don't have to do the pancaking. So I just pull at the outer edges so that will make the braid fluffier, bigger and a bit more boho, what I liked for this big bun. Now I did a rope twist braid with a quarter of her ponytail and this is going to be wrapped around the ponytail and it's going to be your base for the bun that we do with the three strand braids later. Pin everything good in place, that is your base and this one to be good fixed and stay in place and not move around. If you don't have so much hair you can always use here a donut and bring it over the ponytail. You just bring it over, pin it into place and that will be your base. Now split the ponytail into three equal strands and you're going to braid every strand with a normal three strand braid. So I start on the right hand side and I'm splitting everything into three strands and then I go right over, left over. I'm doing always at the beginning three stitches before I pancake the right side. We're going to wrap these braids later around the base that we did with the rope twist braid clockwise. That's why we're going to pull out now the edges from this braid on the right hand side. And I'm doing again this time two stitches before I start to pull the outer edges. Here I just showed you where we're going to wrap it around. Do again two stitches and then pull carefully the outer edges. This is also a question of taste. If you want it very very big because you don't have as much hair you will have to pull out a bit more. And then when you have loose strands don't worry we can pin them later in the bun and hide them so one won't see them. When you reach the very end, after you pancake the last time, I just do some normal stitches and I won't loosen it up because I want to make sure that nothing unravels. So the last three until five centimeters are a normal uh, 
a French braid and then tie it off with an elastic and go to the middle strand. And here you just do exactly the same. Section off the braid into three equal strands and then start braiding a normal French braid, bringing the left over the middle and the right over the middle. And it's very repetitive. So I think this is really an easy bun but has a nice effect because of the pancaking and it becomes really, really big when you pin those braids into place. And as this technique is quite easy to do and you only lose some time pancaking, it is also a very quick hairstyle to do. And if you don't have time at all, you just leave the accent braid and then you will be done in latest 10 minutes with this hairstyle. Finish the third braid and just uh, do normal stitches so that it's tight at the very end. And these are always the ends that are easier to hide later and she has some layers in her hair so I make sure that everything stays together and we're going to start with the last braid that we did to wrap it around our base clockwise. Now pin it into place, use enough bobby pins and I think that they hold better and slip less if you put the, the top of the bobby pin face down. I'm going here over with the pancake part over the thinner braid before I take now the second braid and this is going to hide the thinner braid again and it goes under this braid goes under the first braid that we put into its place at the beginning now you see I lift up the braid a bit I take hair from under the stitches and then I pin this to the head and in the direction of the base where we have the rope twisted braid. Here you see now that there is some kind of gap, but it will be perfectly covered with the third braid. So bring the third braid around, make sure that everything is equal, check first if you have to pull more or less, pin it into place, and uh, yes, use enough bobby pins because you don't want this to move. And it also depends to the kind of hair you're working with. Transita's hair is a lot of hair and heavy hair. So I don't know, I think I use for the whole style between 20 and 30 bobby pins. Hide the ends under the braids from the top. I grab the hair from the top with the bobby pin and I pull it over the strands that I want to hide. And this is the final result. A big bun made of three normal braids. Easy to do, quick to do. I hope you like the tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss any new tutorial. You can also check out our Instagram account and get some inspiration for other styles. And please, if you would like us to do a special tutorial, don't hesitate to leave us a comment here down below. Thank you so much for watching.